Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Uh, it's hard to believe we're going to be uh, kicking into the last two weeks of summer. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women and some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key and a lock. A match that works. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 89, NASDAQ up 4, S&P's up 6, gold contract up $12.50, trading at 11.9670 an ounce. We'll start right with the gold market. So gold out here, folks, got to a price point last week of 11.67. It came off the lows. Out here today, you get some price. Volume's not bad, not great. You're at 198,000 contracts. Gold, um, the next level, if gold can get back inside the 1212, then we get some action. Uh, bottom line, I expect you're going to see some action out here tonight. We'll talk about that in a few more minutes um, in correlation to the good old U.S. dollar. If we go over, over to the silver market and we take a look at silver, what you're going to see with the silver market is this. Silver was up 10 cents today. This also got trashed last week. This got down to a price point of 1431. You're at 1476. This has to get back inside the uh, 1525 area. Um, we had 70,000 contracts today in the silver market. That's not a lot of contracts in silver. Uh, bottom line, we want to see like uh, over 100,000 contracts inside the silver market as that tries to get into higher price. Oil market was basically up 52 cents, flat market. If we go take a look at that uh, oil contract, what you're going to see out here inside the oil contract is that this came down uh, last week, we got uh, come down from a price point out here of uh, the $69 level. You're at $66.46. You've done 790,000 contracts, and that's going to be light contract. Yeah, oh, that's actually 79,000. One second. Let me make sure I'm right on the right contract. What happens in the oil contract, folks, it goes month by month. So these turn, these turn over pretty quickly. So... Yeah, I was on the right contract. Okay, bottom line, this is going to need a lot more volume, man. This is uh, this is a super dead cat bounce. So what we have with this uh, baby, you, you're coming into, uh, yeah. So 66.46, this has to get over like the 67 mark to do anything. This is still building cars to get into the 62 area. Notes and bonds, big day. Bottom line, the note as well as the bond market, um, are up at the higher end of the consolidation. They closed at their highs. You have the 10-year, did 1.1 million contracts. Uh, this is going after its swing high from the 30th of May, which is 121.02. Now, I expect we're going to run after that because what we did do out here in the 10-year today is that we cleared the consolidation. The top of that consolidation well, we're right at it, actually. If I, I show you this, what do you see this? This is wild. We're at, right out of 12020, which 12020 was the spike high on the 6th of July. What this is going after is the spike high from the 30th of May, which is 12103. If we take a look at the 30 year, now when you bring the 30 year back, the 30 year is also going for the top of its consolidation. Now, if I bring the 30 year, I'm going to put this on a continuous contract. What you're going to see is this. This is a big number, what we're going after. The reason being is this is that when the 30 year, so the 30 year folks broke down into a much lower range when going all the way back in January of this year. That's when the 30 year, you know, went from a price point of 155 dove down to 142. 148 is the number that, number one, I expect we're going to go after. Now, the real kicker is, and we're going to know in the next few days, if this takes this out in volume, if it takes the, the top of this consolidation out in volume, this has a huge chance to get back up into much higher price because we've been consolidating now since February of this year. You know, it's a big number. Uh, that's the 30-year. 10-year is set up the exact same way. King dollar, what you can expect with king dollar is this. King dollar, last week, couldn't hold price. You had light volume on the weekly. We had out here today, you're, you're down 200, 
70 ticks. It's no big deal. It's a quarter penny. He did 17,000 contracts. That's really not a lot of contract volume. That being said, intraday out here, he had the first sell down when it was uh, reported that uh, Trump was basically uh, complaining at a fundraiser in the Hamptons uh, about Powell raising rates so many times. Uh, right at the close out here today, a minute before the close, actually, uh, Trump also tweeted out that he felt that uh, the Chinese as well as the Europeans were manipulating their currencies. So next up on the agenda, more than likely, folks, is that we're going to have a currency war. Why not? We have uh, tariffs. We have uh, what, what, you can just start going through um, one after the other, um, meaning adversity. Um, next currency war I suspect is going to be out there. And if that's what we get, what you're going to see, uh, we're going to wake up in the morning and, and bottom line, he goes over to, to Mnuchin at the Treasury and says, man, start selling some dollars. So we'll see where this shakes out. Um, I suspect that this is not going to stop tonight. Uh, why? Because it was done and first it was reported, evidently it was reported. He didn't mind it being reported. He tweets out at one minute a four. That, what that will do out here tonight is that let's go over to the yen for a second. He didn't bother the uh, Japanese, but the bottom line is that the yen were at one. 1014. This looks like it wants to get stronger. So the yen looks like it wants to run down to this 109 to 104 area. And if that's what we have, you're going to catch a bid uh, inside these metal markets because that would basically bring the dollar back. And if the dollar, if the dollar does get back inside the lower range, you want to see how it does it. Because if it comes back inside the lower range and the volume's still light, guess what? That's just a return test, and it'll probably get out of there again. If we come back inside that range with volume expanding, that would be the end of the dollar going up um, for the, you know, the dollar's been going up for the uh, last uh, eight months, nine months. That would be the end of that trend. The reason being is that when the dollar did break topside, it didn't have the volume when it broke topside, but it got above that area. And that was the first bounce that we had in a long period of time. 877-927-6648. The volume's out here inside the NYSE, folks. We did uh, 648 million. That's really light volume. You can expect that, though, the last couple weeks in the summer. Inside the NASDAQ composite, 1.6. So in both cases, you had volume dying on the vine. Come right back.